YouTube, what is up? This is Come to Japan, the channel that wants you to come to Japan. My name is Dan. Thanks again for joining me on another episode. I want to make a medaka Japanese fish pond. Uh, so uh, Japanese rice fish are basically medaka and I want to make it in this pot. The first reason is that I really enjoy nature. Uh, I think it looks really cool. The second and the biggest reason is that my son, who is two years old, loves fish. Uh, anytime there is an aquarium or any kind of fish, anywhere we go, he's glued to it. He loves watching the fish. Uh, so I wanted to create a Japanese fish pond. Since I live in Japan, in Kyushu, in Fukuoka, I thought, hey, let's make a Japanese rice pond or a Japanese uh, midaka little pond for, for Japanese rice fish. And I guess the third reason why I wanted to do a Japanese uh, I wanted to do a medaka upon is because they're relatively low maintenance and from what I've been reading on up on, uh, medaka are very sturdy fish, very hardy fish and they can withstand um, quite a bit uh, and I'm a first time, I'm a very beginner fish keeper, I've never kept fish in my entire life so this is going to be a journey with you guys. Um, but yeah, uh, let's get it started. This is the bowl uh, that I bought, I actually got it from home center that was going out of business so it was perfect. Uh, this normally I think was like 3,000 yen, um, but I got it for uh, 1,000 yen. So it's a, it's a nice pot. It holds about, I think, 8 liters of water. Um, so there's that. Uh, I got this um, for from just a pet store, which is, uh, it says, Medaka, Medaka no Mizutsukuri. Medaka no Mizutsukuri. So this basically means, um, Medaka, which is the Japanese rice fish, uh, but making water, water maker. So you can't necessarily just put regular tap water because there's like chloramine and, and chlorine and, and whatnot and, and other uh, chemicals that uh, people put in the water so it's safe for us to drink, but it's not necessarily safe for the fish. So, and then we're gonna go get some fish later on uh, today with me and my son, and we're gonna get some water plants uh, and also some substrate, which is basically the gravel and the sand. Um, but yeah. Let's uh, let's get it started. My son is definitely going to make an appearance in this video, and I think he's going to be really excited about this uh, whole setup. So we just got to the uh, fish store, and we're going to look at fish, and he's tuckered out. Uh, we haven't even got to the main attraction yet, and uh, he's knackered. Uh, he woke up, and we're here. So let's take a look around at everything. Yeah, this is what I wanted. This is what I was looking for. Kind of what I'm going for. Just a little aquascape. Something like that. These are kind of cute little fish too. Some water plants. Salamander down there. Wow, oh, it's a salamander. They got this cool little setup. It's kind of cool with the salamander. Oh, Hazel. Oh, <laughs> Oh! Wow! Yeah. I'm saying like he just loves looking in here. Is that cool? I don't think there's any fish, but the bubbles are awesome, aren't they, Hayes? Yeah. This is the main reason why I wanted to create a, a fish pond. We're not seeing these are the guys I'm after, and it says Midaka. For one, it's 40 cents. Uh, for 10, it's about 300 yen. So. These are the guys we're looking after. Yeah, cute, yeah. All right, everybody, back from the store, back to the balcony, going to start setting up our miniature fish pond, our medaka, our Japanese rice fish pond. So let's set up um, the, the, the substrate, which is kind of the sand, the sandy bottom, and some of our hardscape items to get our plants in there. Hopefully the next time we see this, we're gonna have fish.
like that. It gives it a little, a little bit of, a little bit of cover, a little bit of cover there. So, got our plants in there. Let's get our fish. Get our fish. Check them out here. Got 15. If you can see them in there. The focus on. There they are. These are Himedaka or Sun Medaka. I got 15 of these guys. Um, they do best in schools. Schools, so we got 15 of these guys and uh, let's get them in. Let's them back out there. Focus. Okay guys, here's the moment of truth. We're gonna put these guys in their new home. Apparently, uh, I mean, again, they're pretty sturdy fish and I read around that, you know, and I've seen other YouTube videos about they don't need very much, um, you know, acclimation and they should be just fine. So, let's get these guys in here. guys. Okay, fish are in. Fish are in. So let's look at the fish. Let's look at the fish. Hey, look. Can you see the fish? Come down. Oh. Yeah, you can see the fish. You see them in there? Yeah, you can see them. You see the fish? Yeah. The fish are in there. Yeah, look at the fish. Come on, come down. Don't touch. Don't touch the fish. Can you see the fish swimming? Oh, fish. Oh, they're hungry. Unakasuiteru? Ara. Yeah, there's a, there's one right there. Yeah, I can see the fish. Alright everybody, um, thanks for joining me on this episode and joining these guys to the Come to Japan uh, family. <laughs> uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. That's the only way we're going to grow this channel and bring someone to Japan for free through this channel. Alright, matane! Bye bye! Hey Kun! Bye bye! Hey Kun, bye bye! Bye bye! <laughs> He's eating snacks in there. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right. You guys got anything to say? No? Turn up that. All right, guys. We'll see you.